Welcome, everybody. This is Richard Kuhns, author of How to Get Your Life Back from Miserable Morgellons, Chronic Lyme, and Other Skin Parasites. We are entering our stress management portion of the program. I'm here with Robin, my co-host, and Mary, our greeter uh, for the, uh, the program. And this is about dealing with the stress I mean, the organisms bring misery, itching, biting, and rashes, and lesions that don't heal, and a life of hell, and a lot of stress right along with it, particularly when we go to doctors and we uh, <laughs> get really no, not much response and maybe get diagnosed as being delusional and and we get isolated in, in the sense that nobody wants to talk to us, nobody wants to help us, nobody can help us, nobody. And who do you talk to? You, you don't talk to your neighbor about it. Uh, maybe even it's a little stressful dealing with uh, your people you live with because uh, some of them may be thinking it's all in your head too. So it can be tremendously stressful. And whatever techniques that you can use uh, to help manage the stress is really beneficial. On this program, we've done, uh, I think last week we did a tapping exercise. Uh, we do deep breathing exercises, which are also very, you know, somebody wrote me during the week saying I got hypertension. Okay, well, you're fortunate that you only have hypertension. And what you might do is simply do deep breathing exercises uh, throughout the day. And uh, I even have a, a CD online about learning how to relax and, and uh, uh, things like that have been very instrumental in helping reduce hypertension. So one of the ways uh, that uh, we deal with managing stress is taking a break and listening to music. And we are very fortunate in the fact that my co-host Robin is a talented and accomplished musician. And uh, she needs to leave early today because she has another engagement. So what I'd like to do is turn it over to Robin, and she's going to play us a song, after which we'll, we have a few people who would like to share their experiences in, in managing stress. And I, I even hear that somebody has a, a joke they want to they share. Uh, so, okay, Robin, it's all yours. Oh, thanks. So um, when Jan was going to be our guest a long time ago, or a few weeks ago, uh, she had requested this song, and I do it in com combined with um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So uh, I'm going to play that today. It's a wonderful world. 
Thank you. That was so wonderful. Every song gets better and better. Please subscribe yeah. to Robin. Please subscribe to Robin's channel, and while you're doing it, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Yeah, music. It soothes the soul. What can we say? It soothes the soul. So, when you find yourself there, ruminating and worrying, or being uncertain, a little confused, a little down. Hey, go to YouTube or your, wherever you find your, your favorite music and listen to your favorite music. And, of course, Robin is there on, on her YouTube channel. You can listen to, to her songs as well. So thank you very much, Robin. Thank you for uh, participating today and being my co-host. I, can't, I couldn't have a better co-host. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm sorry I have to run. But... Okay, have a, great have a great week. See you next week. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, uh, Chris, you got somebody who would like to share? Once in a while, I check in with my husband because he's one of these Army guys. Even if he's burning to death or whatever he has, he will never say anything because he doesn't want me to help treat him. So I check in on him. And uh, during the week, I was saying to him, I'm sorry, on the weekend, I said to him, uh, you better talk more loudly to me because I'm losing my hearing. He said, what? I said, yeah, I'm losing my hearing now. He said, you can't possibly have another health issue. Believe me, you are not losing your hearing. I said, what did you say? <laughs> so d he said, all right. Um, so during the week, then I asked him, how is his prostate doing? Because he has a prostate problem. I won't even go into his Morgellons. He's in denial. So um, he said, I'm okay with that, but of course he may or may not be. And I said, I told you during the week I would come up with something I do not have, like it was a bet. And I said, I found it. I just found it right now, something I don't have a problem with. And I said, it's my, I don't have a prostate problem. <laughs> <laughs> And we laugh so hard about that because it's true. The Lord uses me to have so many problems, and then within I research it and I get over it or help myself, whatever I do, and then the next day or within a week, I have someone call me and say, Jeanette, can you help me with this problem? I said, is it a hearing problem? I said, yes. Okay. So... Just keeping a sense of humor, looking for the humor in life, just helps me not stress. And uh, I thought that was really pretty funny. Yes, I, I you, you make <laughs> you make a great point. There. I had okay. I had a, uh, a little sign that was hanging in, you know, one of these eight on eight by twelve. It said, "Don't take life so seriously. You'll never get out of it alive." 
<laughs> That's great. Good That's to read. Great. Don't, yeah. don't take yourself so serious. Uh -huh. Don't take things so seriously. I, you know, the, the person who actually is healthier is the person who can step back and actually laugh at oneself instead of uh, taking things so seriously. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye -bye. Melanie. Okay, I have a silly joke for you. Um, Good. Do you know Do you know why dermatologists make so many bad diagnoses? No, why? They make rash decisions. <laughs> rash, rash decisions. That's good. Thank you. Okay. That's about all I have. <laughs> uh, you know, jokes are a good way to laugh. You, you know, you can't be in fight or flight. And that's what stress is about. When you're when you're stressed out, your body is in flight or fight. And that means a whole bunch of hormones are circulating through your body that have you ready to fight or run away from something. And what can you do? You got to you got to run away from more gallons. Hell, if you run to to Hawaii, it's with you. You know, you're not running away from anything. You're taking it with you, and you can't fight it. You know, so you get these hormones that are ready for a, a life and death struggle circulating through your body, and they are deleterious to your health. They contribute to decreased immune function. So when you laugh, that's not happening. When you laugh and when you smile, that's not happening. You have a whole different set of hormones that are conducive to inspiration, to solving problems, to creativity. That's why it's so important to do stress management techniques, to listen to your music, to to uh, uh, listen to whatever jokes or genre you like. You find the YouTube channel and and smile and laugh. It's great. Okay, thank you.